the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Mahmoud Mohammed, has described as saddening, distressing, and deeply regrettable the arrest and continued detention of some justices of the Supreme Court and the Federal High Court. While calling on Nigerians to remain calm, the CJN says that the National Judicial Council is planning to hold an emergency sitting tomorrow to deliberate on the matter. Justice Mahmoud was speaking at the valedictory session of a Justice of the Supreme Court, Justice Sulaiman Galadima, who is retiring from the services of the Nigerian judiciary. Also speaking on the issue, President of the Nigerian Bar Association, Mr. Abubakar Mahmoud, insists that the executive has exhibited lack of respect for the separation of powers. My laws invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, not to detract from this occasion, which is indeed very saddening and deeply regrettable that the, the distressing and unfortunate incident which occurred on Friday, 7th October and Saturday, 8th October 2016 regarding the affairs of the judiciary. However, I must ask all Nigerians to remain calm and prayerful as emergency meeting the National Judicial Council will be taken will be taking place tomorrow will comprehensively look into the matter. The NDA rejects these explanations and justifications that these so-called surgical operations were targeted at corruption and not the judiciary. We find it absurd that the presidency will accept assurances for the DSS that they followed all the process of the law. We maintain our position that these operations are illegal and unconstitutional. I want to reiterate that the position of the bar is not aimed at protecting any judge. We are not shielding any judges from investigation from charges of corruption. The resolve of the NDA on the fight against corruption is unwavering. We are clear that raiding judges, uh, houses of judges of the Supreme Court in the middle of the night by must and men is, is not the way to go. We do not accept it. This portends real danger to Nigeria's democracy. It is contrary to all civilized norms and accepted standards. The human experience, I dare say, has not shown us that there's any better or sustainable way to deal with any human problem rather than through rigorous adherence to due process and the rule of law.